Thy word is truth, O Lord, thy word is truth. Sanctify us to the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us to the word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved. Good morning, beloved. You are all welcome to this word of truth. The topic of the word of truth of, truth of today is looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Our, mem- our Bible text is taken from the book of Hebrew, chapter 12, verse 1 to 2, that says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which dwells so easily beset us, and let us strong with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Jesus is the author of our faith. We come to him by faith, and we believe in him by faith. On this Christendom journey, we need faith to walk through and to scale through. In the journey, many things will happen that we want to shake our faith, but because we have Jesus on our side, our faith will not be shaken. That is why as a Christian, we must always look unto Jesus on this race and not man. He is the author and finisher of our faith. We are surrounded with many witnesses. That is to say, God sees everything we are doing. There are witnesses that have been put in place by God to monitor our lives, our movements, our works, whatever we do on, on earth. And on the day of judgment, they are all going to testify. In this world, there are many distractions. Lot of things are happening around the world that causes fear, anxiety, worries. Many things that can shake one's faith as a Christian. The only way out is to learn to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. What makes man to lose focus, attention, direction from God is sin, weight, work of the flesh, love of the world and things that are in the world, persecution, tribulation, trials. All these things, all these things that make a child of God to lose focus and divert his attention from looking unto, unto God. As a child of God, we must shed every weight that is preventing us from looking unto Jesus. We must draw the weight at the cross and we must lay aside sin that easily besets us and the sin that easily besets us a manifestation of work of the flesh. According to the word of God in the book of Galatians chapter 5, Verse 19 to 21 that says, Now the work of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy, envy, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like of the of the which I I, I tell you in the time, time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We are into a race and the race is raised to heaven. We are on a path which the final destination is heaven. The only way to run the race success, successfully and the only way to walk in this path successfully is by looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. There are trials. There are persecutions on the way. But when we look unto, this, unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, we will not be discouraged, but we will be encouraged to continue in the race. That is why we must look, we must not just look unto him for some times and shift it. We must continue looking unto him every day, every night, at all time. And until he leads us on, in, into onto heaven, we must shed and lay aside every weight that can prevent us 
or draw us back from looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. In this race and on this path, we must look straight on, not to the left or right or back, because on the left and right are many distractions. And if you look to the left or right as a child of God, you will be distracted. And if you look back, back, that means, if you look back, that means the person is going back to the world. On this journey to heaven, we must look straight on. When we look straight on, we will always see Jesus. And seeing Jesus will give us the grace, the strength, the power, the zeal, the joy, the peace, the anointing, an action we need on this journey. Looking unto Jesus always, we increase our faith and believe in Him. And He will lead us to good destination of our lives and He will lead us to heaven. Beloved, we should not be discouraged. We should continue serving God. Continue to do the work of your ministry. Continue the secret sacrifices and services you are rendering to God and doing for God. He is seeing us and He will surely reward our labor of love. We are going to reap if we did not stop. We are going to receive reward for everything we are doing for God. This is not the time to be distracted, but this is the time to look more unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. This is also the time to lay aside every weight and sin which dwell easily beset us. This is the time to run with patience the race that is set before us. And the only way to run the race with patience and to win is by looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. I pray on this race we have by the grace of God, we will not lose focus, we shall run and not be weary, we shall walk and not faint, we shall mount up with wings as an eagle, and we shall make it to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayers. Please, let's take these prayers together. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to remain focused and and steadfast in you. Father, help me to remain focused and and steadfast in you. Father, help me not to lose focus on you. Father, help me not to lose focus on you. Father, remove from my life every weight and sin which do easily beset me. In Jesus' name, Father, remove from my life every weight and sin which joyously besets me. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to make it to heaven. In Jesus' name, Father, help me to make it to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.